Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a closer look at fluid flow through a pipe and specifically how to calculate the amount of fluid that flows through a pipe per unit time. And notice that this time we're going to include the viscosity inside the pipe and so that means that the velocity of the fluid at the center of the pipe is much greater than the fluid towards the side and that's of course due to the viscosity of the fluid. So the equation then becomes that the amount of fluid flow, the amount of volume per unit time that flows through the pipe is equal to pi r to the fourth times the, the difference in the pressure between the two ends of the pipe divided by eight times the viscosity of the fluid times the length of the pipe in the denominator. Just as an example, let's throw in some numbers. This is not a really good realistic idea, but it, it gives you the, the feel of how to do it. Notice that there's an enormous pressure difference over a pipe that is about 20 meters long. The radius of the pipe is 5 centimeters, which means the diameter is about 10 centimeters, and the viscosity of water, let's say 0 0.001 pascal times seconds. Just plug in the numbers, and you can see that you come out with a little bit over one cubic meter per second. The reason why it's that much water per second through a pipe of a diameter of about 4 inches or 10 centimeters is because the pressure difference is enormous, so you'll probably have a, quite some velocity of that fluid flowing through the pipe. Uh, a more realistic number is probably about one-tenth as much, but then, of course, we can simply drop the pressure difference of just 1,000 pascals instead of 10,000 pascals, and you would get one-tenth of the fluid flow through the pipe, and that is how it's done. Oh. One thing though, it needs to be laminar flow. So if the velocity is too high, you begin to have turbulence and of course it no longer works. So this is only for laminar flow and at that volume it may no longer be laminar. So that may no longer be realistic, but it gives you the idea of how to calculate it. 